us. Man. I didn't have nobody in my corner. But come on. But what the Lord said. Everybody always asks me what the Lord said. Yeah. Nobody can see that I needed the Lord to say something big. So y'all be careful when y'all see people leave. Yeah. You see people oh. prophesy. Yep. You see people laying hands. Yeah. Stop always running for a word. Get yeah. right you some encouragement and be like, woman of God, right. God told me that everything's going to be all right. You're going to find people. Everything's going to be good. We believe it and we trust in God. That's right. There was a moment I had to look in the mirror. Yeah. Prophet, and I was like, let me tell you something. I'm yeah. mad. I'm hurt. I'm upset. Yeah. Yeah. Going through bereavement. I done lost everything I knew. I done lost my ex-husband. I done lost my mama. I done lost my daddy. I done lost my house. I done lost my car. I'm a homeless. I have nothing but two children. But I was still preaching. Yeah. I was still showing up. Nobody knew what I was going through. Yeah. And when I told them the testimony after Streaker, they was like, well, how come you didn't say something? Right there. And right my there. response was, how come you didn't see something?
cooking. I'm talking about CC was cooking. I was trying to figure out what to do, where to go. I wanted to run out the house. Crystal, I wanted to just take a trip and go somewhere. My mind was just clicking, clicking, clicking. Couple of weeks passed by, maybe I think it was like maybe two weeks or something. Like y'all sit down and make me nervous. Two weeks passed by. Two weeks passed by. And I had a couple of Jesus with me, with Jesus. And that's when I was looking at the pills. I was like, Lord, all right. Well, since you ain't gonna give me no answers, I'm done. Done with all this stuff, done with church. Yeah. Done with church people, you know. I'm just, I'm just done, you know, whatever. And at that moment, I jumped about the bed, everything was running through my mind. I jumped about the bed, I went in the mirror. And out of nowhere, I was standing there, like, no. And I was standing there and I looked in the mirror and it's like I seen something come over me and I started talking to myself in the mirror. And that was, what's this year, 2019? That was 2012. 2013. And I sat there and I talked to myself in the mirror, Sharita. And I did it the next day. And I did it the next day. I did it the next day. And prophet, I kept talking until I talked myself back to a place uh -huh. that I knew where God was. That's it right here. Come on, Can I tell all of y'all something? If you have never lived a life to where you had to stand in the mirror mm -hmm. and talk to yourself, don't get beside yourself. Yeah. Don't think you've made it. Yeah. Because life has a way of presenting those moments you're going to have to stand. You're going to have to look in the mirror and you're going to have to decree and declare that you're going to live and you're not going to die. And you're going to declare the words of the Lord and your labor hasn't been in vain. He hasn't forgotten your labor of love and your servitude. You're going to have to stand in the mirror and talk to yourself. So we can't think more highly of ourselves than we think that we are. I want to go down, Brother Willie, I want you to go all the way down to verse 9. 